Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Fish and ATX. Today guys, we have a little bit different of a video as far as the format goes, and don't worry, it actually is a fishing video, it's not going to be some stupid trick shots video game, but the format's going to be a little bit different today. That is because guys, the day I had, well it's completely opposite of how I thought it would go, honestly. Like, everything that, I, that happened today, everything I caught was kind of not what I expected at all. Anyway guys, what ended up happening was, I went out to play Lake Travis Pond again. It's a pond I've been fishing a decent amount recently, and it was actually a pond I did not really plan on fishing again, just because of the fact that it is super pressured, and I'm not really going to fish it much more, just because there are um, a lot of bass in there, but they're smart. They, they've seen lures, they know what's going on, so they're tough to catch. I actually went out there to catch catfish, and... The thing that happened was I caught some bluegill at first. Like I caught a couple of them. I was just using, I cut them up. I used them as cut bait, and I just could not get anything from catfish. Just nothing. The bite was not there. It was it was pretty hot, but I mean, it was just a tough day. I don't know what was happening, but I just had nothing from catfish. Well, what ended up happening was when I first got there too, I was seeing it all day, and I eventually just decided to go fish from it. Was because I was seeing a ton of these little male bass. You know, like one to two pounders. They were coming up near the shallows and they were they're all getting ready to spawn. Like, I mean, the water's probably about 60, just a little bit above 60 degrees. So the fish are getting ready to spawn, you know. Like a lot of bass are coming up shallow to start spawning, as I saw today in this little pond. But there really wasn't many beds built yet. Like there were some there were some bass that were just starting to build some beds around me, and I was seeing that, but I was like, I was looking around while I was bored, I was waiting for a fish to bite. I was like, I'm not really seeing many beds. That's when I finally pulled up on a bed that actually had, like, it was all fully built. It was had a legitimate area you know there was eggs on it and there was a bass on it i figured out some more about this bed what ended up happening was there was a little one about one pounder on it and he was just guarding some eggs it was actually i went around i went on the whole pond it was the only bed in the entire pond that is like fully finished you know and i was talking to some people who fish around there and they were saying they saw the female there a couple days ago it was about a big four pounder he said the guy i was talking to said you saw that bed, the bed a couple days ago but he said yeah it was a quick bed it had just been put together you know so there was a fish on it Anyway guys, I mean this is really the only fish I catch today. I ended up um, sight fishing this bass because it's really clear waters. I just thought it'd be really cool for you guys to see this because, you know, not much going on right now. Fishing has been so tough over spring break. Bass fishing in general has just been so hard right now. And it's, it's a tough time of year. Pre-spawn is never easy and then the spawn it just gets even harder. But after the spawn, you know, it's going to be a lot of fun. But it's just such a cool catch, man, because I've only caught a handful of bed fish in my life just because baseball, I don't really get to fish during the spawn season. So this was just super cool catch. And you'll see, I literally just turned the camera on. I was like, I think it's a bed. And I flipped it on there, twitched it three times, and he was there. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this quick little video. It's thought it'd be cool. It's really cool footage, and then I talk a little more afterwards. But yeah, hopefully you guys will enjoy. Might have just found a bed, guys. If I'm seeing this right, this looks like a bed. I think it is a bed. There's a bass sitting. He just he just nicked my thing. He just bumped it with his nose though. He wasn't too. He didn't want to actually eat it. He just bumped it with his nose. I think that is his bed right there. Oh, he's gonna eat it. He's gonna eat it. Oh, he just ate it. Got him. What the? Let's go. I just bed fished that guy. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh. It's been a struggle all day, guys. Oh, I just bed fished him. What a catch. Oh, it's been a struggle all day. And I just sight fished that fish. Bed fished him with the brush hog. Oh. My God, it's been such a struggle. I don't know what happened to my reel because as soon as I set the hook, it would not reel. That's kind of weird. We have to check that out. But oh, oh, that's so sweet, guys. It's been such a tough year fishing-wise. This is such a hard pond to fish. That's my first bed fish of 2019. Because you see, I don't even get to clearly see it, but there's a bed right out there because there's a little log and a little divot. And I saw this bass just sitting there, and I tried to turn the camera on. I was like, wait, I think that's a bed right there, and. I pitched out onto it, and of course, as soon as I do, oh crap, there's, okay, hang on, I'm gonna let this guy go. I'm gonna let this guy go real fast. Go, bro. There's bluegill on his bed right now, so I'm gonna let him go back there. Hopefully, he'll find his bed. Yep, he's going back. <laughs> I saw him sitting there, and I put the brush hog on it right next to him, and he just looked at it, 
stared at it, stared at it. Okay, yeah, he's there. He's he's good. He got it back. Okay, that's good. I just I want to make sure this blue girl didn't get his bed, but he was looking at it, looking at it, looking at it. He saw it. I, I twitched it three times, and on the third twitch, he got mad enough to where he grabbed it and ran back on the bed. Cause the first time he just bumped it, you know, and then he ran, he grabbed it again and ran back towards his bed, and that's when I set it on him. I don't know what happened to my reel because my reel when I started doing that, like it it wasn't real. Like I don't I don't know what happened there. I might have had something get. I think the line on the end got wrapped because that's what keeps happening. I'll have to go back and look at the film, but. I think, I think what happened was, you see the line on the ends all wrapped around like this. I don't think it's what happened because I completely lost all power. Like I couldn't reel at all. So I think it's probably what happened when I set the hook. But, oh, it feels so good. It's been such a hard day, dude. It's, it's real hot. That just, that's so rewarding, man. This, this is such a tough pond. The only reason I came back here was because I was trying to catch some catfish. The bass here are really, really hard to catch. Really, really finicky fish. That just, that's really rewarding right there, man. That's so awesome. First fish too on the Corrado DC. I'll talk about that some more later. That's for a later video, but oh, that's just, that's so rewarding right there, man. That feels so good to get my first bed fish of the year and much needed one indeed. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope you did enjoy. If you did, remember to like and subscribe to Fishing ATX. I know we're not really having a lot of videos. Fishing has just been tough recently, guys. This was actually my third outing of spring break and I only caught three fish. I did catch two bluegill. I don't think I put them in the video though, but it was a really, really tough spring break so far. We're, it's the Friday now, so we have two days left. I'm going fishing tomorrow, hopefully at Mabry. Camp Mabry, I've not been there in a while. I'm going to try and catch some big catfish. That should be fun. But if it goes anything like today, who knows? We could pull out with some bass. I mean, really don't know, honestly. We're just going to try and catch whatever we can just because it's been a struggle recently, and I just want to get some more videos to you guys. You know, I mean, this, it was, this was a cool video. You know, you don't, you don't get to go catch fish on their beds every single day but you know i mean it's just one fish you know it's nothing really that special anyway guys really hope there'll be some more videos coming out just look forward to some if not it could be a little bit of a wait again but don't worry there will be a lot of videos coming this summer anyway guys again really hope you did enjoy this video hopefully there should be should be some new videos coming out shortly if not though i'll just do the best i can to try and catch some more fish anyway folks that's about it for this video i will see you guys next time back out on the water